Hi, my name is Matt Brown and I'm a solutions architect at Squid. In this video, we're going to talk about one way that users can create new records in a Squid page. In a previous video, we set up a page that gives us a list of data from the account object in Salesforce. And we're displaying that list inside a Squid table component. We also talked about how you can use the table as an end user to both create new records in line, edit records, delete records, uh, and of course, read as many records as you have access to. You can see that we have 16 accounts paginated across two different pages. What we're going to do here is talk about a different scenario where you might want to drive the user down a specific path because you don't want them to create records in line. Maybe you have more fields that you want them to fill out when you create a record as opposed uh, to what they might see in a list view like this. So what we're going to do here is go to our page in the composer and we'll create a new model on the same object, the account object in Salesforce, and we'll call it new account. Okay, and in our model properties, where it says query on page load, I'm going to deselect that checkbox. And what that means is that when the page loads, we are not going to bring in a list of data that is already existing in the database. Uh, we're actually going to wait for a user action uh, that will create a new row in that object. Just like we did with our list, we'll go ahead and select some of the fields that we want in this model account name, description, industry, and maybe some billing information. We'll do city, state, and country. Okay, we now have fields in our model that's in the data layer, and now we need to give the user the ability to actually create that row. We'll go into our table here and down at the bottom where we can see the different types of actions we can add, we'll add a global action which gives us a button at the top of our table. We'll call that action create new account and we'll select a good icon that makes sense to the end user. Now the actions that are going to run when this button gets clicked um, are going to be this. The first one we'll do is we'll create a new row. You can see in our actions framework there's visual navigation, model conditions querying. This is going to be a, a model data change and so we'll select create new row. So when the user clicks uh, on this button it will create a new row in this model new account. And then we want to give the user the ability to actually put some data into those fields. So we'll show a pop-up and inside that pop-up, we'll go ahead and put a field editor to give them that form experience. In our sections here, we'll go ahead and put name, description, industry, and our billing information. And we'll split them out across these two columns. All right, and just thinking ahead, when the user opens this pop-up and they hit save, it's gonna stay there. We would like instead for them to hit save, it close the pop-up and refresh the table underneath. So we're gonna add a few more things here. The first thing we'll do is add a button set above the field editor with two buttons. One that says save, and one that says cancel. Our save button, is gonna save the changes in our new account model. And then it's going to uh, close all pop-ups. It's gonna remove all rows from our new account model so that if we decide that we need to create another new account, we'll start with a fresh slate. And then the last thing that it's gonna do is it's gonna query our account list model when we're finished. So it'll refresh the list that we started from. And then our cancel button is gonna cancel model changes in our new account model. And then it's gonna close the pop-up. And finally, the last thing we'll do is click on our field editor properties 
have it be in edit mode by default so we get that form experience and we will deselect show save and cancel since we've created our own save and cancel buttons at the top. But let's go see what we can do now. All right, there's our new button, create new account. We have the option to um, create a, a new one here in our form that shows in the squid pop-up. If we hit save, it should save, close the pop-up and refresh the table underneath. And there it is, new account four shows up in our table. And that's about it. I hope that's been helpful. Thank you so much for watching.